from Metal Gox TV, and I am with... Uh, Juha Raibio from Swallow the Sun. Brilliant. Um, last time I caught up with you was uh, Bloodstock no, two years ago, was it? Some, something like that. After the Moses, anyway. So, <laughs> so 2008, I think. Was it? Yeah. You were studying English accents at the time. You know, Finnish people, we are huge um, uh, British humor fans. Uh, Fall the Towers fast, so. What, what, what was the bus? Bus. Oh, on the buses and. and Oh, you might! And Alf Peterson pet. Yeah, it's on about it. like doing that. Like Alf Peterson pet. I, like I love Alf Peterson pet. I, in fact, I have in the bus. I have all the DVDs and everything else. I can't get it enough. If there's some, some something on that series that you know, especially in Oz and how uh, how, how he speaks, don't understand the word. <laughs> Seriously, it's like you know, it's like alien. You know, could come and talk to me, and you know, <laughs> I will understand as much. But it's great, great. <laughs> and at the moment, uh, are you promoting an album at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Well, we got the new album, New Moon, out a um, few months ago, and. We already did one uh, headlining um, European tour in December and now we are on a two-month tour with Catatonia first in Europe and then we fly to America with Fintroll and so it's two months in a row. How's it been going? Okay? Yeah, it's hey, it's great, you know, with a band like us, it's, it's really hard to find a band to tour with because the music started and it, usually we have no choice than just to play some thrash metal bands or <laughs> power metal or whatever and then and then the audience is like what is this shite <laughs> it's it's slow <laughs> but you know but then again they understand the whole thing after a few songs usually you find it hard um, having to do a small set because some of your songs are really really long I mean do you, do you, how do you condense it down into a shorter set uh, well um, it's like uh, this kind of, like when we are warming up bands we usually have like 30 minutes to 45 minutes and it means six or seven songs but we, we've been trying to you know, usually on, on occasions like this we get like faster songs from us and so we can get at least seven songs or eight songs maybe if, if there isn't any problems on stage so but it definitely we cannot play the slower songs maybe one or two in a set but that's it otherwise it's three songs have you got a good fan base in Britain do you think I don't know it's it seems to be pretty good and you know I, I heard we heard that uh, from management that you know we, we've been selling pretty good in in England so I hope uh, because this is, well, this is the home homeland of our music style, basically. Of course, we have our Finnish thing there also. But hey, doom, death, or death, doom, whatever you want to say. If you want to label a music, then it, you know this is the country. This is where it was born. And yes, my dying pride. And do you do fairly like well, in Sabbath, of course. Do you do well in Finland? Because I know uh, it's more mainstream music in Finland. Yes. Well, it seems that you know all the metal is quite mainstream in Finland at the moment, anyways. And so it's I don't know. It's 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 a good thing. You know, bands like us, we hit uh, number three on the official charts. You know, with the Hope album. And, and now it went again in in top ten the new album and and we got the number one in in a single charge with the Plague of Butterflies because it was an EP and all this so with the music like this it there has to be like a little bit mainstream in Finland but Finland is a metal country it seems that and people are really you know wondering you know from other countries how can it be that you got these kind of fans on a, on a chart but for us it's it's pretty basic I don't know even our president likes heavy metal which isn't in fact a very good thing we are not that good hands <laughs> if you can say so so you're actually making some money then, are you? <laughs> I wish, I wish, man. You know, I still, you know, now it's been two years without, you know, I, I don't have a home. I have to give up my home, everything, just to, to be able to do music. So dedication. Yeah, it needs it, it needs it anyway. So, but I haven't seen the money. <laughs> that, that's what the promoters and agents are for, <laughs> and regular companies. Yeah.
the illegal downloading it doesn't help, does it? Yeah, it's, it's really hard these days, I have to say. It's, uh, you know, we, just yesterday we were talking about this uh, uh, slugger bands, you know, this uh, the play tango and you know the slugger this band, and you know they are still selling actual records because the you know the fan base is so old that they don't know anything about downloading. <laughs> it is it, it's a hard thing. Of course, it's that's that's the forever question that you know it's, it's a good it's good promotion, of course, and you know you can listen to the band wherever you want around the world. But then again, you know the studio parts are going smaller and smaller, and, and everything in the promotion, and everything it's it's really hard to get money from the labels, and I understand that too, because you know they are selling so much less albums. They said, I don't know. I, I think that everybody, the bands and the labels, have, just have to start finding new ways. I, I don't know where this is going, but it seems uh, quite hard times for the bands and the labels, just because people, you know, don't want to buy the albums; they just want to download it. Well, I'm 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 the biggest anti-nerd in the whole world. I don't know even how to download the album, so don't blame me. <laughs> Buy those. Mm, can, um, I can I curse? I, I think I can. Yeah, yeah. So download. Don't download those fucking albums. Or you can download and listen to them, but you know if you really like it, buy it. Yeah. So you know I can get at least some something, you know, food <laughs> inside my body. You know, look at me. I'm I'm fucking starving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but anyway, yeah, that's the business these days. And if, if you could recommend one of your albums as a, as a starter album for a new fan, which one would it be? <clears throat> well, I think the new album gives a pretty good uh, 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 picture of our band. There's like, there's really doomy stuff. Uh, not all the doom metal guys are gonna go like, oh, I'm gonna fucking kill him. It's not the doom metal, and we're not doom metal. But there's a doomish side on us, us too, on some songs. And so there is that side, and then there's a faster side, and melodic side, and even the black metal side of the band there so it's a big but you know well the first album or the last album but those are the pretty good to get into the band okay and finally have you got anything you'd like to say to the British audience watching at the moment uh, fast so fall the towers uh, the bus I never remember the bus on the bus says Oh man, I just, I'm not gonna suck up you guys, but I love <laughs> I love British humor. <laughs> because the British driver on a, on a bus, and, and you know, and, and we got the road, uh, no, the guitar tech from Catatonia is from from, uh, from England, and, and you know, it's, it's pretty good, you know. He came and asked, uh, uh, Do you guys need water? I said that we got the water, we ain't got no water. <laughs> so, please bring it in, man. <laughs> so, all hail to freedom. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Cheers.